On Google's homepage, Earth Day is marked with stark images of the climate crisis. Time-lapse satellite pictures showing glacial retreat at Mount Kilimanjaro, glacial melt in Greenland, coral bleaching at the Great Barrier Reef, and deforestation across Germany. The reality is undeniable. Earth's landscape is changing fast. The reality is this is happening before our eyes. We know the science, we understand the reason. We just have to have the courage and the collective will to decarbonize. Canada's landscape is rapidly changing too. Take, for instance, the Place Glacier in the South Coast Mountains in BC. Now watch how it's disappeared since 1965. We're talking about uh, 60 to 70 meters of lowering on the surface of those, those ice masses in some cases. And that's That's ice that's not going to be replenished. The changing climate isn't just melting Canada's ice. It's heating up our cities as well. A report out this week from the University of Waterloo warns many Canadian cities will face more dangerous extreme heat events like the ones in Quebec and BC that claimed hundreds of lives in recent years. We basically see that across Canada, there's three zones that are particularly exposed to extreme heat. These are the valleys of BC, uh, the southern prairies, and then the area of the Great Lakes down the St. Lawrence River Valley. When it comes to our changing climate, the news is often an overwhelming cause for anxiety and, well, bleak. But scientists stress hope is not lost. There is still time to focus our collective efforts to ensure the worst-case scenarios don't become our Earth's future reality. Heather Urix-West, Global News, Calgary.